This is Andrew Freeman from the Walk with a Doc Denver Area Program. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about how to eat better in an effort to boost your energy level, boost your performance with exercise, and perhaps even lower your cholesterol and weight while doing so. Many of you know that I advocate a very plant-rich diet, but why do I do that? Well, if you look, plants are very high density, uh, low density, sorry, for uh, calories, but are very high density in nutrients. As a result, you can eat a large amount of plants and feel very full without very many calories, no fat, no cholesterol, and almost no salt. As a result, uh, by eating this way, you'll find that your weight goes down, but it also lowers your cholesterol. Most of you realize that lots of the foods in our diet that raise cholesterol come from animals, but by uh, taking in less of those, you'll find your cholesterol lowers. But let's talk about a little bit more tangible results. Uh, as far back as the gladiators, they used to talk about uh, being fed a diet of grains before battle as opposed to a diet of meat. And most of you know that before major runs, you'll see athletes or triathletes really load up on carbohydrates. And in fact, many of you have read about books of native cultures that are into running. Many of them carry a combination of either beans or tortilla chips or uh, some sort of a seed in an effort to give them energy while they run. All of these products are high in uh, a combination of protein and carbohydrates together. And that's why beans and brown rice and other carbohydrates such as whole grain pastas and other uh, uh, breads and so, so forth are so fantastic for energy. By eating these about 30 minutes prior to an exercise uh, regimen of cardiovascular activity, you'll find that your energy level is sustained as opposed to eating white bread or refined grains. You might find that your energy level is just momentarily elevated and then you find yourself hungry less than an hour later. So as I recommend, uh, you should eat a diet that is rich in whole grains, plants, low in fats and cholesterol, and low in processed foods. And if you do eat meat, aim to eat chicken or fish in very small quantities. Till the next time I see you on the trail, thanks so much. Uh, this is Andrew Freeman from the Walk with a Doc program.